Solo snowboarding, what can I say? Snowboarding with friends is better, but if you've got a chance to get a few snow days in, then you gotta send it. It reminded me of a group of friends you hang out with. Everyone is cool with one another, but you and that other friend don't get much one-on-one -on -one time together. In this case, that friend was snowboarding and it got a little awkward at first. On the first day, we rode at Kirkwood because it was their last day open. We didn't really know what to talk about. There were some awkward silences, but once we were actually together, we slowly got over all that. We had some fun and we remembered why we hang out together in the first place. On the next day we went to North Star and I must have done something wrong to snowboarding because I ate shit and busted my shoulder pretty good on the first run of the day. It was a warm up lap so I didn't even have the camera on. Maybe I got a little cocky thinking I'd master riding switch but I was quickly humbled. I took it easy the rest of the day and called it early with that homemade sando for lunch, then made tracks back to South Lake Tahoe. Just finished out the work day, hurt my shoulder pretty bad. Stupid, stupid fall, for sure. I was trying to ride switch, I was like, oh, it's fun, let's learn to ride switch today. First run. <laughs> And a Gonna go find some ibuprofen and hopefully an ice pack. After getting some profen, I stopped off at Third Man Tap House in Delhi, grabbed a Cubano to go, and enjoyed it by the water while enjoying the sunset. The next morning, our heroes begin the day with coffee and meal preparation, whilst deciding to push through the pain and to ride or not to ride. I've been stalling to get out this morning because the shoulder, oh, it hurts. It's like sore to the touch, um, but I feel like I can move it a little better than I did could yesterday. So I think I'm, I'm out here. Gonna get out, just take it nice and easy, nothing crazy, and uh, see how that goes. Like any other good friend, eventually you've gotta face one another and work out your differences. We took it slow, and Heavenly, aka The Heave, was a great place to do it. It's huge. There was a brief wait at the lift lines, but nothing too bad. I shot out to the backside where it was pretty mellow, but the snow was a little crunchy. I don't always get mountain chilly, but I needed a bit of a morale booster and sometimes you gotta lean into the heave. Overall, it was a good time out and you really can't beat this view of Lake Tahoe on the way down. Later that evening, I found this Argentinian empanada place called Empanache. 
grabbed some nads to go and took it back to the room because it was getting cold outside. I gotta say these empanadas were pretty dang good and I would recommend if you are in this area of South Lake Tahoe. The next morning, to their glorious surprise, the snow gods decided to take pity on these unfortunate souls and bless them with some fresh pow. Absolutely monumental. Hey -ho. Got a light dusting of some snow. The snow gods have blessed us. It's not a dump, but it's a little sum sum. <laughs> Since it was going to be a short day, I immediately shot out to the backside to get some runs in there and then make my way back closer to the lot. Visibility was a little sketch, but the snow was great. After a few runs in low vis, I made my way closer to the lot and found this little gully. The fresh snow was a little deceptive because in some spots it looked like there was coverage but it was really just a dusting. I overshot navigating to the gully and scraped the board up a bit. Felt bad for this person but also kinda glad I wasn't the only one. After the gully, had a nice long run to the bottom and packed it in for the day. All in all, I was really glad I got to get out there and hang out with snowboarding. Even though we had some differences and disagreements, like any strong friendship, we got over them and achieved a different level of stoke. Happy to report while editing this video, my shoulder is almost back to 100%. Looking forward to when we can all hang out again, with the gang, or one-on-one. -on -one. And on that note, thanks for watching One Love, and we'll catch you in the next one.